We just kept him off the ice as precautionary. So will he go on the trip? Yes, he will go on the trip. How about Scandella, Bogosian, Allmark? <laughs> uh, Allmark and, and the Bogosian just uh, uh, maintenance days. Um, but, um, Scandella. Scandella is just being reevaluated by our doctors. We'll know more later on today. Will he go or no, Scandella? No. Kyle's is it, it's not yeah. concussion? No. Okay. Is it? No, Phil. When you look at the <laughs> when you look at how you guys played last night, how do you have that mentality to consistently go in every game and just work hard, do the little things, have that attention to details? Just do you guys continue to drill it, watch film? Is there any real concrete solution to get that consistency? Well, we addressed it today, and um, you know we had a good practice. The spirits were up. Uh, it's a time to you know reboot, refocus, and get ready. Uh, we understand that. Uh, when we can play the way we can play and have have our details in order, we're a very good hockey team. When we're not, you know, we, we seem to get results that we got last last game. You mentioned after the, on the third goal there was a few breakdowns, and that's why you have a system in place. What was supposed to happen? What that didn't happen? In that well, it, it's just uh, it's it, it's just the one-on-one -on -one battle in the corner, and, and it's just picking up. You know, we had layers in place, and. A guy's got a puck behind the net, and, and we just got to pick up a guy. And that's, that's, that's pretty simple. What do you hope, if he's in, uh, to get from Casey Middlestad? Well, I just like the way he was before he got injured, and uh, he was attacking the game. He was playing a 200-foot game uh, at both ends of the ice. Uh, his defense is really solid, and he was contributing offensively. And um, he's got to be a guy that disperses the puck uh, to his wingers and, and find his wingers. But uh, his, his game was in a really good place uh, before he got hurt. Have you been happy with, especially Rasmus Dahlin and Casey Middlestad, as younger players? in the NHL for the first time, but the way they've taken care of themselves. And, I mean, this is the grind of the NHL that you're going through right now in February. Have you been happy with both of them? Yes, I've been happy. I mean, uh, we understand, uh, you know, younger players are going to make mistakes. That's that's the nature of their development. Uh, but just getting back in, in back in the saddle, so to speak, and they've done a really good job. And some nights have been tough, you know, like uh, some things haven't gone their way, and but they find a way to come back and get re-energized and focused. And, uh, you know, that's just all part of their development uh, this year uh, with the grind of the schedule. And the games are getting harder and tougher, and they're just learning how to handle those situations. How about the way they take care of their bodies and that? that yeah, it, it, they've done a really good job. Uh, Casey's really done a good job of just doing some extra work. Uh, uh, with this fitness, uh, Darlene doing a really good job of, you know, watching video and, and trying to learn from his mistakes so they don't happen again. And, and then off the ice, they've done a good job. They live together, they take care of each other, and uh, uh, they hold each other accountable to a certain extent when they're away from the rink to, to manage their bodies. When you guys are on your game like you have been for, for chunks of this year, what's your identity? What are you guys doing right? It's, it's our work reloads and our checking detail. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, when we do those three things well and, and, and on top of that manage the game, we're a tough team to play against. You have another look at C.J. Smith here on the second call up here. What have, what have you seen from him developmentally? I, I think he's getting more comfortable with the game, the speed of the game. And uh, um, I thought he had a, a solid game yesterday. You know, he had some opportunities. He created some uh, scoring chances. And again, just on the other side of the puck, just continue to learn in that part of the, the game. The constructive criticism that young players get through through film sessions, is that another part of the learning process? To I mean, because it can be kind of harsh, I'm sure, but well, to, to you take know, that, it and, and learn it's from funny. it and apply it. Yeah, the younger guys, they, they, they really enjoy it. Like, uh, they challenge themselves. Uh, they take it the right way. They're trying to learn and get better, and that's what makes them really good young hockey players. Thanks, everybody.